What's up everyone? Christine Pastris here with my two covers. Um, the first one we'll look at is Slap Magazine. Uh, as you can see it was a paper zine, super thin. Um, but when it came out it kind of really turned heads because it was really, really street skating focused. Um, where Thrasher had a much more broad approach. approach. Slap really like honed in on the early 90s street scene, especially in uh, LA and SF. And um, yeah, this is just in the uh, photo room at Thrasher. Um, because I was doing an interview for this, Lance Stas, the photographer, thought, hey, let's fire off some portraits um, with the drop cloth behind me. And I honestly had no idea it was gonna be on the cover. That's the fur that was the furthest thing from my mind, especially like a, a portrait photo. I, I wouldn't have thought this would end up on the, on the mag. Um, but when it did, I was pleasantly surprised because much like stereo, it had a very different vanguard approach to it, just to put a portrait on the cover mm -hmm. at the time. And that's my favorite jacket. I caught that on tour with uh, Mike and Ed Templeton, maybe even Hobo Tour days. And I wore this thing religiously. San Francisco was cold, had a nice collar. It was, a, it was a killer, killer like wool style zip up jacket. I wish I had still had that thing. I'd be wearing it right now. Now, um, now this is issue two. Had you even seen issue one when this was shot? No, no. So you I had I, no, I, didn't, I knew, I trusted uh, Lance, you know, Dawes. Yeah, we have like in depth conversations about the mag and what it was going to look like. Um, so I was I was pretty pumped. I, I knew all about it, but I did not I had not seen issue one when we shot this. So there's the the famous like I forget what street that's on Ocean or something. It's but it's a, the famous Santa Monica Gap. Mm -hmm. uh, switch 180. Um, this is right by Nottis's, like in Santa Monica. This is skate with him from time to time. That's the courthouse which is now popularized with uh, everything being skatable there. Yeah. Um, there's a kickflip over that same gap, the Nottis Gap, we used to call it. Um, and then this is the Casting Ponds in Venice. Um, that's the courthouse once again, Fakey Nose Grind. Oh, on the fountain, huh? Yeah. Cool. And uh, that's it. Yeah. I. I I love this magazine because of what it meant to me in the time and my friendship with Lance and uh, I don't know, I just think all the initial covers, actually all of Slap, the whole time was just like spot on. I love Slap, I miss it. And um, this one was obviously for Transworld Magazine. Mickey Vukovic came up and visited me and um, that's the sand gaps that um, everyone used to skate in Santa Monica. I used to skate with Nottis all the time. Um, and yeah, it's a backside heel flip. It's backside 180 heel flip. It's kind of a little hard to tell because it looks like I could be coming this way. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tad early, um, but it's, it's an amazing photo. I mean, make, nothing Mickey shot is, uh, is throwaway. He, everything he sh shoots is great. Um, and I like the colors. I was actually really surprised it was on the cover, but you know, I guess back to heel flip, sand gap, how did, timing. How did you n learn about it being on the cover? Did you see it on the newsstands? Or? I can't remember. I think it was like word of mouth of people telling me about it before I actually saw it. Um, and yeah, I skated Santa Monica all the time. That's pretty much where I lived. I lived in Venice. Um, so, and this is 93. So that means I traveled down back to Venice from Hollywood where I was living at the time and capture this photo um i like the colors i like the layout yeah. i believe that's ted newsome ted newsome for sure yeah and uh yeah you know it's 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 not my favorite skate photo ever but just the whole thing you know as a whole uh i'm really proud of it and, sure. and stoked my favorite cover that's so difficult um there's been so many amazing covers I think if I, I'll go back in my memory banks because if I go forward to now, it's, it's fucking impossible because every cover is so dope. Um, but uh, back in the day, 
Thrasher magazine, my brother started getting, first it was, I think, Action Now, then Skateboarder came along, and then when skateboarding had started to decline, Thrasher magazine came out in whatever, 80, 81, and, um, and I, I don't know the exact date on that, but, you know, early 80s, and um, there was two magazine issues that stand out in my memory. One is the Gons Boneless. It's like a yellow cover, and he's kind of tweaking. You know, he's, he's tucking the boneless thing, but he's like kind of tweaking the board that way. Um, that was the first thrasher that, I ever got. Yeah, and it like it really just resonated. Like everything about Mark, his graphics, his clothing, his style. It was just the total package. Like you're like that is fucking skateboarding. Um, and I always think of that cover for some reason. I'd say it pops into my head every two months. I don't know why. It was shot in 1984. Um, yeah, to put, because he's had two or three Thrasher covers. So this is the, the yellowish one. Yeah, you September, know December eight, September 86. You got it, you nailed it. It's 86, wow, yeah. I thought it was earlier. You're yeah. totally right. Um, but yeah, that cover really st stands out. The other one, for some bizarre reason, I've always loved is the Neil Blender one where he's like got his head close to the doll. Um, February 85. February 85. There we go. And that was just so weird to me. I was, you know, getting drawn into skateboarding. I, I, I start, started skating when I was seven with a little plastic board. But like 84 was the year I really, really got into it. And I remember just thinking like, who the hell is this Neil Blender guy? Like, what's this portrait all about? Um, and then I believe he had an interview in there and I got hip to how like unique his skateboarding was and um, Just his creativity all his little drawings and stuff. So I, that drew me into skateboarding as well. So I'd say Yeah, that cover of of Neil. Would you say it was 84? February 85 fe fe February 85 and the cover of Gons from 86. So were you skating in 85? Had, did you see? Yeah, you, yeah. Like I, I skated since I started skating in 79. Okay. Like just little plastic, we used to call them chicken sticks. And then I got like my first decent board, which is like a Veriflex Niner in 84. And then I just like rapidly, I, I ran through that, had a Neil Blender Mini, um, Jeff Kendall Mini, and yeah, I was riding like legit boards by 84.